You have heard, no doubt, of mean girls. But what about mean moms? Many mothers go online in search of advice for support, but instead, they find just the opposite. Harsh comments by other moms, even savage personal attacks. So has cyberbullying grown up? Juju has a story. Go away, loser. Why are you wasting your life? These postings may sound like another case of teen cyberbullying, but they're actually the rantings of grown women, moms attacking other moms, and it's rampant online. Mean girls all grown up. A mom who's not breastfeeding is called a cop-out and uneducated. Working moms are selfish, co-sleeping moms are labeled irresponsible, and the attacks get hyper-personal. Nori Pereira, mother of two from New Jersey, felt the sting of that criticism for four years. Her then 16-year-old daughter, Allie, texted a topless photo of herself to an ex-boyfriend. He sent the pictures to classmates at school. It went viral. Throughout high school, Allie endured vicious snickering, bullying, tormented by her classmates. They were brutalizing her, terrorizing her, threatening to beat her up, threatening to kill her. It made her mom want to speak out to other mothers to prevent that humiliation from happening to their daughters. But going public triggered a wave of mommy bullying that shocked Nori even more. What were they writing? A lot of mothers called Allie a, a slut and a whore. It was lack of parenting, and, and we should have taught her morals, and we should have taught her self-respect. Basically, that I was a horrible parent, and it devastated, because they know where to get you. The moms. The moms. Are brutal. Moms are brutal, Did especially on the you? internet. Dr. Janet Taylor, a psychiatrist and mom blogger, believes moms are much harsher on other moms. There is a lot of insecurity, a lot of confusion, resentment, just about being a mother. There's a sense of, I've got to be better than you, and I'm going to prove it by writing negative things. Even if those things cut like a knife through a mother's heart. In December of 2009, Shelley Ross, a mother of four and popular mom blogger, found her two-year-old drowned in a pool. She tweeted to her 5,400 followers less than an hour after finding her son. Please pray like never before. My two-year-old fell in the pool. Five hours later, she wrote, remembering my million-dollar baby. Within minutes, her Twitter feed erupted, some with sympathy, but many lashing out at the grieving mother in anger, calling her callous and blaming her for her son's death. One mom wrote, a child is dead because of his mother's infatuation with Twitter. She had a community that followed her. As she's tweeting, I, the last thing that she's thinking about that is that she's going to get criticized. Typically, people who write the most negative comments would not say that to your face. So there is this barrier that allows moms to feel like they can write whatever they want. It just amazes me that they, there's no compassion, especially moms, because you would think moms have that maternal feeling to protect. We have got to start teaching women that we've got to start sticking up for each other. Yes, we do. For more on what we can do to protect ourselves online, we turn to our internet safety expert and dear friend, Perry Aftab. Thank you. Good thank morning, you, thank Robin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's disappointing, but not surprising. Not surprising. How do you think our kids learned how to be cyber bullies? And sadly, we need to give the right role model here, and often we're not. We're not doing that. We're not being that role model at home, and so why should we think that's going to be any different? But it's just... It still stops us cold, though, sometimes, Perry, when we think about the vicious things that are being said. And it's so sad because we need, as moms, each other's support. We don't have that back fence anymore, and the Internet is our virtual back fence. We need to make sure that we help each other get through all of this with all the things we have to do. This is not right. No, it's not. And you have shown us that you, there are right ways to use the Internet and how it can be such a resource and really help moms, especially that are at home. But tell us, how can we, what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, you have to use good digital hygiene. Don't use your pet's middle name or a name if you're governor of Alaska that somebody can use to find your password. We've learned that in the right. last couple of weeks. You need to make sure that you're using privacy settings. You're not doing something that's going to provoke somebody else you think before you post it. And if you're being attacked, you need to report it. So you pick your battles. Report it because you do have some legal rights here, don't you? You have legal rights, and even more than legal rights, Facebook and the blog accounts will take down somebody else's mm -hmm. account if they're violating those rules. So if you're already protecting yourself and someone's attacking you anyway, you first report it to your ISP or the blog site or Facebook, and they actually will do something about it. If it's a threat, you have to go to the cops. That's when you go to the cops. Give us the bottom line here, Perry. Bottom line, the Internet is a great place. It allows us to connect. Moms need this. What we need to do is stop targeting each other. Enough people are already targeting us. Stand up next to each other and say, not on my watch. I'm with you, girl. All right. And you have been so 
just incredible in, in what you have done. Are you, are, you, are you seeing progress being made, though, across the I am. Across I mean, board? we've got Wired Moms. Wired Moms, if you follow us on Twitter, we've got 50,000 moms who support each other. You want to be part of the support group, you go there. And what we need to do is recognize it's our medium as women. We need to use it the right way, be good role models, and stay out of trouble. And remind us again, you've told us this from time to time, if you want to know what's being said about you, there is a Google alert. Absolutely. You go to Google. You can now go to Bing. You set up a good alert, first name, last name your blog account, anything that might identify you, you'll get an email if somebody's saying nasty things about you. It's an early warning system. And if all else fails, go to your 10-year-old. They'll help you set it up. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? They know more than we do. <laughs> always. But we don't know as much as you. Thank you very much. It's uh, always great, Robin. Thanks for all the help you do to keep everybody safe. We get a great reaction every time that you are here, and I know that you're very interactive online. And if you're being bullied online, go to our website to find out what you can do about it and how you can prevent it and Perry, our good friend, will help you out.